Hi, I'm Chef Andres Nieto, Executive Chef at LA Prime Restaurant at the Westin Bonaventure Hotel. Today I'm going to show you how to cook fresh shrimp. Okay, so here we go. We're going to cook fresh shrimp. First thing we're going to start with is our cooking liquid. So on the fire I have uh, boiling water. And so these are all the ingredients I'm going to be putting into my cooking liquid. So first we're going to start with a really nice white wine. Uh, sometimes when you cook uh, shrimp, you can just use regular salted water. I like to really add flavor to the cooking liquid to really enhance the flavor of the natural shrimp. So we're adding white wine. I'm adding a little bit of sea salt, fresh garlic cloves. I'm going to be using a, a uh, whole black peppercorn. Bay leaf adds great flavor. Uh, we're using some fresh lemon, Meyer lemons. They're uh, from Southern California and black pepper. Here is my shrimp. So these are uh, our, our fresh shrimp. These are Santa Barbara shrimp from California. These are fantastic shrimp. I always love to uh, cook these with a the heads on. So let's go ahead and start by putting our liquid together. So we're going to start by adding uh, our white wine. We're going to add our salt, a little bit of uh, sea salt to the water. Okay. We're going to add Probably about six cloves of garlic to the water. Okay. We're going to add about a tablespoon of, uh, of black peppercorns. Okay. It's going to give a really nice spice to the uh, cooking liquid. Bay leaf. Bay leaf is a great, uh, great flavoring. So we're going to add like three bay leaves. So we have three bay leaves there. Then I'm going to squeeze some fresh lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice right inside just like that. And I'm actually going to put the whole lemon in there. I'm going to put one whole lemon. So that's half. I'm going to squeeze this lemon into the liquid and go ahead and drop that one in as well. <clears throat> For an added kick, what I'm adding is I'm adding lemongrass. I love lemongrass. Uh, the aroma, the smell is fantastic. Uh, I think when you're cooking shrimp or shellfish, seafood, whether it's lobsters, whatever, this is a great thing to add. So I'm going to just uh, cut this up real quick. And you can just cut this in little pieces like this. Okay, so we're going to just add that, throw that in there. And uh, that's going to add really good flavor. It's going to get a lot of aromatics of like lemon. So, all right, so now we have our cooking liquid going. You want to let that go for about maybe like 10 minutes so all the flavors start to fuse together. And then we're going to add our shrimp. So we're going to go ahead and add our shrimp. So uh, once again, I love to leave the shell on when I'm cooking fresh shrimp. Uh, versus taking the heads off. All the natural flavors of the shrimp are really in the cavity, the head cavity. So I, I love to always leave the heads on. So we're going to go ahead and put our shrimp into our cooking liquid. And we're going to let those go for about five minutes. And they're going to have just really great flavors. So once they're all in, you want to make sure that they're completely covered with the cooking liquid and uh, you start your timer. So you want to go about five minutes. Okay, shrimp is finished cooking, so next we're going to go ahead and pull them out. We're going to put them in ice water to stop the cooking process. But what you can do uh, quickly is pull one out, you know, and uh, we can cut it in half to make sure that's cooked all the way before we pull all of them out. So you want to just cut that tail in half and just look into it and make sure that the, the flesh is cooked all the way through. So it looks like we're ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull all of them out. So we have our ice bath right here. So this is just ice with water. It's really important. Once you cook the shrimp, you want to make sure that you shock it, which means to put it in ice cold water to stop the cooking process right away. Otherwise, your shrimp will become uh, chewy and overcooked. So let's go ahead and pull these out. You can see the, the color. They always change color. They kind of become a little orange. So we want to get those in our water. So these go into the ice. And you want to make sure that they're completely submerged once again in the water, just like that. And uh, that's going to stop the cooking right away. It's really important. You know, when you're cooking shrimp, getting them chilled down is, is the most critical part of the process. So uh, let those cool down, probably like about another two or three minutes in ice cold water, and they're ready to go. You can then pull the heads off and then start to peel it and devein it. It's really great. This one actually has roe on it still the eggs, so you can see how delicious that looks, nice and moist, full of flavor, and the aromatics are great. So that's a beautiful piece of fresh cooked shrimp. 
Once again, Chef Andres Nieto, and that's how you cook fresh shrimp.